Welcome to this new recording in which I'm going to demonstrate how to run large language models locally to ask questions about your documents. I previously did that using the LangChain library and I have a video on that by using OpenAI and an OpenAI key. And what that actually means is you make use of a, a large language model that is somewhere on a server, you ultimately have to pay for it. OpenAI will charge you and your data goes towards OpenAI, right? So if you want to avoid these kind of things, one way to do it is to use LangChain to have a model locally and then train your data or like, you know, set your, uh, create your index on your local data and then ask questions about it. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do that and also what the first quality is of, that I'm getting when, when I try this. I'm installing some dependencies here, obviously Langchains and then Transformers, Sentence Transformers. This is all things that, that Hugging Face uh, requires, unstructured for the data loaders. So if you start and do this, this will ultimately show up as dependencies that you need. So you can just go ahead and install them right away. I mean, importing four classes here that I'm going to use. The first thing is the uh, embeddings. So I'm using Hugging Face embeddings. If I use the standard embeddings in LangChain, it would be the OpenAI embeddings. Now I am downloading a large language model and I'm running this. Okay, and so here we see um, this is downloading uh, and loading into a, a cache. I'm identifying the model, right? So if you go on Hugging Face, you usually see this like author slash model name. And I provide a few parameters. Device means zero means I run it on my GPU, not on a CPU. Negative one would be CPU would be the default. And then a few uh, keyword arguments here, the maximum token length, temperature, and uh, you know, the, the, the task is text generation. And so I download this uh, from Hugging Face. You actually don't need a key for that because I don't have one set. So you can just kind of get that and it will download the model into your cache. And you see this model that I'm downloading has about six gigabytes of um, data volume and it just got done. And I want to go ahead and do something that I've previously shown in a different video, right? So I have a file here, I'm downloading a Wikipedia page about solar cells. I put them into a local file. I create a loader around it, and then I create this vector store index from the loaders. And now I'm ready to actually ask a question on that index. And so I have this question written out here. What is the highest efficiency achieved for a solar cell? I put that question in. And I also define our large language model. If I did not do that, it would default to the OpenAI model and then it would require an OpenAI API key. And so if I define that here, this will actually then work. Now, this can take a while. There's a little bit of a warning here, something I should set differently, but it's actually deeper down in this class here. So if I change this to max new tokens instead, this will actually not work. And now the, the model is working on the, on the vector store index. So we'll see how that comes out. It takes a while. So I'm also just going to automatically run the next one right afterwards. And hopefully not too long from now. Wow. Okay. Okay, great. So we got this long, list of the highest efficiency achieved for a solar cell is the record efficiency of a single solar, single junction solar cell. Um, that is not quite correct because actually the more junctions you have, um, that usually, you know, the tandem solar cells give you actually higher efficiency. So single junction solar cell um, and 13.6 is also a low efficiency. So it's not quite right. The other numbers, the overall highest efficiency is actually 46%. So this number doesn't show up here. And then we see a lot of repeats over and over and over again. So uh, this is not quite yet performing to the, the standard that I've seen previously from OpenAI. 
Um, I'm also doing this kind of double check question, right? I'm asking for the population of the United States. This roughly looks okay as a number. That's probably more accurate than the solar cell efficiency estimates. However, this question was actually meant to test how much this model now focuses on the input data I've given it, which is really only an article about solar cells. Just from that article, it should not know that. And the best answer would be, I don't know, right? It should only just kind of use knowledge from the data I've, I've given it. To make this better, it's probably here, the, the key is trying more models, right? This is also a relatively small model. 3b 3 billion parameters so that's what i kind of fit in my small gpu and so to to make you know more of it you probably want some some higher number here right and just get different models and that's something you can try go to hugging face try different models and and make them work and and try them I hope you find this useful and let me know what you think of this or if you actually find a good model that works here. That'd be really great if you can let me know. I'm also curious and if you find it helpful, also let me know and I hope to see you in the next video.